Hey, what's up YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing Transformers Generations Dark Mount. So let's head to the table and check them out. So here we are, and there he is. The latest offering from the Generations line. Here is Dark Mount. Or Straxus. Whichever you prefer. It's totally up to you. Yeah, here he is as a nice beefy tank, and I believe that is a technical term, a beefy tank. I believe that is a technical term for this vehicle. See him decked out here, in, uh, M17. Very nicely detailed. Got the tank treads and everything. Very nice. And he does have all these extra little guns here and everything, these little missile pods, which are on these little clips, which have become kind of infamous in Transformers now. They have these little clips. And these, you can basically clip anywhere. There, there are a lot of points where you can clip them. You can clip them right here, right here, clip them up front, uh, clip it up top right here where I had that one. If you want, you can even flip up these little bits right here. You can clip them up top like this. I mean, they're pretty versatile as far as where you can clip these things so yeah pretty nice just put those to the side for now he does have a third mode and I use air quotes when I say that because I don't really consider this much of a third mode but um what you want to do is just want to kind of lift this section up split this and, I, and keep in mind I'm going by the pictures I've seen so if this is not accurate forgive me but from what I've seen, it's basically you kind of open this up, put the hands down, rotate this, rotate the, the turret forward, and there is your third mode. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. I just, I, I don't like it. I, nah. Sorry. That's definitely not going to be a display option for me, because that just looks really stupid but looks a lot better like this it does have two tires in the front little plastic tires under here so he rolls pretty well um, look under he's got you know his you can see his arms are clearly visible he has VHS visible hand syndrome so yep here's another deluxe tank former for comparison here's Galvatron see there how he kind of stacks up Dark Mountain does have a longer barrel. That's unfortunate for Galvatron. He probably has barrel envy now. No. But yeah. A little beefier. But um, yeah. That's pretty much all, all there is in this mode. So, transformation. What you want to do is you want to pop the, uh, the barrel off. You want to take this section. Lift it up. You want to split this, kind of pull them off to the sides, take this little section, and just kind of bring it down in between them. Now what you want to do is you want to come here, you're going to open up these little trap doors, like this. You're going to make sure these sections are untabbed from this section here, and you're just going to bring the legs down like so. They can close this panel back up. You bring it down, and you close this back up. Now you can just take his foot, flip it down, take his foot, flip it down, come down here, you just kind of push on the, this little section right here, and you'll get your heel spur. Push right there, get your heel spur. You come back here too, and you can pull this part out of his butt, and that's the top part of his axe. Bring the legs down, this little section here, you just want to flip up, that's his crotch piece. Um, now you want to come down here, take this little piece here with the Decepticon symbol on it, flip it down, and this tab is going to tab in to this slot right here in the waist. Just want to bring that down, and it will just tab in right there. Now you want to kind of bring the arms out and bring them down like this. This kind of gets them out of the way. 
And now what you want to do with these is you want to take them and rotate them all the way up like this. I do it this way because it just kind of gets them, again, it gets them out of the way. It helps, it gives you a little clearance. Now you want to shift the arms forward. And when you shift the arms forward, this front tire is going to shift in also. Like that. Come over, shift it in like that. And now you can just kind of bring these panels back and rotate them back down. What I like to do is I just basically like to clip them back together right behind his back, like that. You can take these two panels right here, lift them up, bring them to the sides. He's got his shoulder, uh, shoulder pads. Come here, open this panel up, flip out his head, close that back up. And there you have Dark Mount in robot mode. Which is pretty cool. The only gripe I have about the figure are his feet. The fact that his feet are on this ball joint that's more on the side than anything else. So it kind of makes him a little unstable to stand. Maybe a little super glue might help that. But it's okay. He does have um, a very nice head sculpt though. I love the head sculpt on this guy. Very cool. And also, these weapons, again, you can just kind of clip them wherever. I, I like to clip them up here and uh, give them some extra shoulder cannons. Like that. This one, I just like to take and kind of clip it down here. Now, with these two pieces right here, basically what you want to do is you want to take this part and slide it all the way to the bottom. You want to take the top half here and just clip it right in like so. Then you're going to extend these out. And there you got his pickaxe. And his hands do open up. So you're going to put the axe in there. And he can double hand this thing too, which is really cool. Whenever they can double hand a weapon, that's always a nice touch. Very, very cool. So, for comparison, here he is next to, whoa, knocked him over. Here he is next to uh, Bludgeon, who doesn't want to stand either. Nobody wants to stand up today. God. I'll just hold him up. Now, here he is next to Bludgeon. And uh, here he is next to Ironhide, just to get another sense of how tall he is. So, yeah, my only gripe with him is his feet. It, it, it doesn't make him the most stable figure. They kind of want to just flip and flop. Like I said, maybe some super glue will fix that up real easy. Um, he does have good articulation, though. He has the full head, ball-jointed shoulders, arm. The wrist is on a full swivel. It's also on a ball joint, so you can kind of go in and out. Uh, he does have a waist joint, which is very nice. Ball jointed hips, swivel, knee, and the weird ball jointed feet. But all in all, very, very nice figure. I would definitely recommend this guy if it weren't for his feet. I gotta super glue his feet. I gotta super glue those ball joints. There we go. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this guy. He's a very cool figure. I would definitely say, if, if you see him, pick him up. He's worth it. He's very, very cool. You know, he does have a little bit of a backpack, but that's okay. It really, it, It's really not too... Uh, it, it, it looks great from, from the front. It's not such an obvious, like, huge backpack. It actually goes well with him. It makes him... It just gives him some nice added bulk... Yeah, very nice figure. Pick him up when you see him. He's worth it. He's awesome. So there is Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Dark Mount, and this is Emgo rolling out.